Hello students, today you are going to add a data slide to your presentation on global warming. You started on Monday or Tuesday or last time. So if you look over here, here's a rubric. Let me click on it so it gets a little bigger. It says, remember you can have two slides for this, minimum one slide, but you should probably have two so you can have uh, a lot of sentences, maybe two or three sentences, maybe even four, maybe two sentences per slide explaining what causes uh, climate change. And for the data, you should have maybe one slide that's just a picture, and then one slide explaining the picture. Uh, it's up to you to have two slides here. You can do maybe one, depending on how you make the slide. So let's read it. It says, data is used to support the idea that climate is changing. All right, and you have to also say what website you got it from. So here are your, here's how you do it. You log back onto your drive, and if you're watching this video but you haven't started the project, Stop this video and go watch the video on how to start the project. Once you're logged into your blast delay, uh, click on the little menu again. Remember, take you to your drive, which is this one. I'm already here, so look for your presentation. Let me look for the presentation I started with you last time. Then when you're on the presentation, and I saw a lot of you were changing a lot of the like fonts and the colors. That's fine, but don't spend too much time on that because the more important thing is the actual content, not how pretty the letters and the font looks. Remember to add another slide, you click on the plus here, and then you can uh, add a, a bar graph. So this is what you're supposed to do. I opened a new uh, tab or a window, and then I typed in data on global warming. You could do the same thing into Google. These are the two websites I want you to use. You can use this top one here, which is from NASA, which is obviously very um, a good source. Or you can use this one, which is the NOAA which is the Association of Atmospheric Administration. So it's from the government. Both of them are, actually. Let me go back. And they will both have good information about uh, global warming. When you click, let's go to NASA. Let's click here. You can use one of those two, remember, the top or the bottom. Now, on this website, you just have to make sure you give them credit. Let's say you're using the NASA one, right? So I would make sure you cut and paste the website so that people can check out more resources. Because you didn't make any of this stuff, you're um, borrowing their information. Um, which is called citations. So anyways, for your data slide, you can click on in, uh, interactives, and then you can click on climate time machine. And then you can use one of these two um, to uh, prove uh, as data that uh, the Earth is getting hotter. Maybe this one. You can use this one if you want. And you can show various pictures. You can take screenshots. Remember, you can say, this is how the Earth is getting hotter. This is how hot the Earth is, or how much carbon there's in the air. This is how much carbon there was before. To take a picture of, let's say, before and after, remember you could push Command Shift 4 and it creates the little crossbar. And then you can take a screenshot, which is going to be on your background. You decide what to be on the picture. Or you could take a picture of this one, which is shows you how the Earth is getting hotter. Maybe you could take a before picture, maybe in the 1900s. Same thing, you push Command Shift 4. And if this video is going too fast, remember to pause it and try it and come back to it. Or open a new window and watch it. And then you can take another picture maybe of the Earth now. So that could be your data as well. Or you can use this bar graph. And remember, you can have two slides for that second question on the rubric. So it's okay if you do multiple pictures and you just explain what's happening. This is probably your best one. This uh, shows you how, um, how, many, how much carbon dioxide or carbon levels have grown over time. So you notice how it's been growing over a couple of years and now of course the carbon levels are way up which means that if there's more carbon there's more um, global warming because the greenhouse effect increases so you could take a picture of this to show uh, parents of course I say there how you, you use data from NASA to like create this presentation it's not just you like making stuff up you can just also pictures here you can borrow that show how the earth is getting warmer. So this website has tons of resources. If you need more ideas too, you feel free to use this as we create this project. Eventually we're going to do this where you can send an email to, um, let's see here, you can send an email to a, a NASA scientist. I'll tell you where that is. It's, um, it's under images and video here. Ask a climate scientist. And then you're going to be able to communicate with a scientist. We're going to send them emails and maybe they'll answer, maybe they don't but at least we're, we're trying to get more information here. Now, if you don't decide to use a NASA site, you can use this website too. I, like I said, this one's not as friendly. I prefer you use a NASA site, but if you don't like it or you want to try it out or check it out, um, you click on the link. Let me go back all the way. 
If you click on the second link, remember it only pops up if you type in data on global warming. So it's this one where it says NCDCC. And then um, you can find pictures. You just have to kind of go into um, climate information. You click there, and then you can click climate of the United States. And then some of these links have um, images of bar graphs that you can use. But you have to use some sort of data to prove that the climate is getting warmer. So again, you can use this one. Keep looking for more pictures on this site, or you can use the other one, the Nest one. It's up to you. But either way, on this slide, write data supporting or data about global warming and then use the pictures that you took I just drag the picture to my presentation you can make it smaller if you want to write words you can move the text box around I click behind it or you can click here where it says text box and then you can add if you click it you can make another box here you can write you can change the letters the color of the letters here where it says text color you can add animations too uh, let's say you want to animate from this slide to this slide, or you want this picture to appear. You can go to insert, and then you go to animation, and then you go fade in, or you can have the different animations, and you push play. So when somebody is watching this, when they push uh, play, they, they move on, see it kind of pops up. To see the whole thing, you just go like this, and you can see the whole presentation full screen. All right, that's enough for today. Go ahead and at least work on adding data to your slide. There will be more to add to this presentation, of course. So try to get at least this done today. Have a good day.